Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about attachment theory and how it impacts student behaviors. And I think that the best way to talk about attachment is to actually go back to remembering what it was like to be a baby. Now if you remember, as soon as you're born, you're pretty much helpless and utterly dependent on your parents to take care of you. And also, if you're ever in danger, you're being threatened or hunted, then the best way to survive is actually to stay as close to your parents as you can. So what a good enough parent does is that they figure out how to take care of you. They read your cues, they learn your cries, and then they meet your needs. Now we as babies play our part too. If we are easy to soothe and regulate, then it makes parenting us really easy. But if we have issues that are like being colicky or hypersensitive or difficult to soothe for some reason, then it can make any parent struggle to take care of us. Now it's this fit between parent and baby that really helps to define what kind of attachment we end up developing. Now if our parents are good enough and we ourselves are pretty easy to soothe, then we end up developing what they call a secure attachment. We learn that when we feel scared or we need help, then someone's going to be there for us and it provides for us this secure base from which we can do anything else in the world. And then if we know that someone's there to listen to us, then as we learn to speak instead of just cry all the time, then we try to make our needs known. And over time, our parents keep meeting those needs and it gives us more and more confidence to say what our needs are and have this expectation that others are gonna meet that need. And then the other really cool thing that happens is that deep down inside, we start to feel like, hey, you know what? Maybe I deserve to be taken care of. I guess I'm pretty lovable. I'm a pretty decent person for my parents to love me the way they do and take good care of me. And the other th cool thing that happens in development is that our own abilities start to come online. We get to walk, we get to talk, we get to run and climb and do things. And that brings another kind of delight to us. And as we start to become really good at stuff, we develop a pride in ourselves. And our brains are designed to constantly seek new stimulation. So as we develop these new abilities, we want to go explore the world as much as we can. And if we feel safe in the world because of our secure attachment, then we're more likely to explore and feel really good about it because we know that if something bad happens, someone's going to be there to catch us. Someone has our back. And now we have these two competing delights in our life. The first one is the delight in being held and loved and secure in knowing that someone's going to take care of us. And then the other delight is the delight in our own ability to go out into the world and get something done. And these two competing delights, this delight in our agency and a delight in our connectedness to others becomes these two things that we have to balance for the rest of our lives. And it gets recalibrated with each developmental challenge. Now you can imagine what a secure baby looks like as a student. This baby walks into the school pretty confident. Sure, they're gonna fuss and cry a little bit when they first leave their moms and dads because they love being with them, but they easily and quickly transition to being in school because they love exploring and learning new things. There's a sense of confidence, there's a sense of openness and a uh, authenticity about who they are as people. And there's a, a pleasure that they get from just being at the school. Uh, when they're studying and when they're learning new things, they might need help every once in a while, and when they do, they have no qualms about asking for help. They'll raise their hand, they'll call on the teacher to help, and then when they get the help, they're ever so grateful that they get the help because it just feels like what they got when they were little babies. And then other students really like them too because they're friendly, they're open, they're warm, and because they felt love in their life for so long, they know how to give love to other people. And this is the type of student that teachers really like teaching. They're delightful, they're eager to learn, they're open to being helped, and they're so grateful for the teacher being there for them. 